Right, time now for our next community conversation. We are joined by Detisa Gathers with descendants of enslaved communities at UVA. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, a nice program coming up in conjunction with the center. Appreciate you coming in today. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We, we love the center. We love this, the idea of this program. It's called the Lives Between the Lines. Explain to us what that will entail. Sure, the Lives Between the Lines is concerning the build of the memorial to enslaved laborers. And it's also a deep dive taking a look at the construction of the, of the memorial itself and how it came to be. All right, so if people are not familiar with it over on UVA grounds, the descendants of enslaved communities, let's talk about this new memorial. It's still relatively new. Yes, well, the memorial to enslaved labor was put in just recently and it actually was finished construction in 2020. And basically this memorial is focusing on the for over 4,000 enslaved laborers that are listed there on the wall. And this movie takes a deep dive looking at those names that's actually on the wall. And let's go into that for people who maybe aren't familiar with what happened with UVA and as it was being constructed in the early days whatnot, a lot of the uh, crew, a lot of the people working were members of the enslaved community. Absolutely, these were people that they found was actually enslaved and it's like a hidden uh, history that is being uncovered. And it was through the work of Eric Duda who decided to do this film, which he thought would be short segments and found mm -hmm. out that it was actually a documentary. And the documentary is probably about an hour long. And so now the community can see it. This was in the film festival and it actually won awards at the Richmond Film Festival. In insightful to say the least, I imagine. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, people need t uh, tickets to attend the film screening? No, it's absolutely free to the public, but they do need to go to the website to be able to access tickets because even though it's open to the public, seats are moving fast. <laughs> Remind us again when and where things take place so people have the essentials. Sure, it's Thursday night at the center and this is at six to eight o'clock. Um, what is it like for you to watch this kind of come, come to fruition, this film? Oh, it's been over about five years recording off and on, and actually you see many different hairstyles. And it's kind of <laughs> funny to watch it go through, but it's also really, really intentional about making sure that we pay attention that even though this is about the construction of the university, um, uh, or construction of the Memorial to Enslaved Laborers, it's taking a deep dive into the, in between those lines that is actually lives of the enslaved that was there. And today it's now descendants that's here, whether they know about it or they don't know. Take us back real quickly to five years ago when this began, and now when you look back, are you, with, are you happy with how things proceeded and the final product? I'm absolutely happy. Um, the film itself has actually moved into an area that is now able to be licensed. Um, you can go to our website, www.descendantsuva.org, and see some instructions for how you can get your licensing. All right, Thursday at the center, certainly worth the time. Absolutely, please come out. Rat it out. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, Casey.